Okay, welcome to another how-to video. My name is Dave Davis, CTO of DVS. Thank you for everybody who has subscribed and liked. Uh, yesterday we hit our 1 million minute milestone on YouTube, so I can only thank you guys. We're gonna think of something we can do as a prize very shortly. Um, but thanks to Seagate for all the sponsorship they give us. And don't forget to keep liking and subscribing where you'll be notified of any new content that goes live and make any suggestions, feedback is always welcome uh, and it's growing every week that we do these. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna look at the humble body camera. So this is uh, quite a new one. Uh, the new one has a combined 3G, 4G and Wi-Fi. This has just got the Wi-Fi GPS with the built-in touchscreen with a hot swap battery. Um, it's still completely relevant. So what we're going to do is link it to our Wi-Fi in the building and then add it to our recorder here. The idea is security guard can go out, do his patrol on here, um, you know, while pressing the record option. It's got built-in audio. When he gets back and connects to the Wi-Fi, this in, say, the security hut or the building itself, it will connect to the NVR, download all of the footage using ANR technology, and it will be safely stored on the NVR. So if you lose this or it gets broken or stolen, the footage is still there. We do have a body cam data store, which I've done a separate video on. So if you've got lots of body cameras, we do an eight bank data store, which they all slot into the footage automatically downloads and is saved on there. But this is more one, two, three, maybe units and incorporate it into an existing site CCTV system. Really powerful solution, really easy to set up. We've done a document on it as well, so you can follow the PDF, which we can send if needed. Um, so all you need is your body camera, you need your USB cable that comes with it in the box, and you need a laptop to program it through the body cam assistant. So first, go and get your laptop, go and download body cam assistant. It's actually on the CD in the box, or we can send you a link to download it and then we will join you uh, there where we can show you how to set this up to talk to there. In the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be doing the security radar. So this is the new Hype Vision security radar, uh, PoE powered, I've done some testing on this. What a fantastic device. So keep an eye out for that, because that's gonna be one of the videos when I come back from China in the next week or so. Join me in a minute, where we'll show you how to set the body camera up, and we'll see you in two ticks. Okay, welcome back to our video. So we've taken our body camera, we've inserted our USB cable, and it's now into the laptop. So we open up our body cam assistant. I've already prepared it on the desktop, which obviously comes with the disc, we've already installed it. Open up that. Yes, we wanna run the assistant. Recognize device. So, you have to turn the body camera on when it's plugged in with the button. And it'll come up as recognize then. So that's just gonna go for a little startup. There is our device. So, we can select that, input the password. The default password is 123456, but recommend it change. So I'll input my password, click login. Then on the tool itself, you'll see there's lots of functionality. So we can search for any safe footage or your picture files and actually download them directly from the tool. We can go to device configuration where you have all of the settings we can alter and log information. We're interested in device configuration where we can set the Wi-Fi up. So under the device configuration, we can set the ID of the body camera. So I've set the DVS HQ. We've got the serial number. We can set the parameters for the capture um, using the camera itself. Time settings, network settings. So the first thing you need to do is enable the Wi-Fi. Type the SSID in and the password. So the one in the demo room, I've just input this. We've got a separate router in here just for this test. And you can do the, if you've got the 3G, 4G module and you've inserted a SIM card, that's where you enable the dial-in. You've got your security settings, so that's where you change your password, highly recommended. Platform settings and static Wi-Fi configuration. Now, I always enable static Wi-Fi and give it a fixed IP address. This makes it much easier to one, ping the device when it's on the network to make sure it's alive and two, add it to the NVR DVR. So always recommend that you put the static IP address in the scheme of the NVR on site, um, gateway and preferred DNS. Then you've got your system settings there, so you can adjust some of the, like the GPS settings and the infrared, etc. So you can adjust those accordingly. And then you can also format the device and system reset. So once you've done that and saved it, you can actually 
um, exit the software, unplug your body cam, and turn the body camera on. We'll just wait for this to go through the starter. So we'll close that. That's also the battery terminal while it's booting up. You can uh, open that and change the battery, hot swap battery. What you'll see on here now on the screen is that Wi-Fi symbol there shows connected. So we are connected to the Wi-Fi we set it. So I can now open up a ping command. And I know I've set my IP address in the body cameras that, and we're getting a reply. So I now know when I ping that device on the network, my laptop can see it. My laptop's in the same range as the body camera and the NVR. So we are happy with that. Now I can open up Internet Explorer. I can web browse my NVR. I can log in. Go to configuration. Now this is an NVR with built-in PoE ports, so I'm gonna change one of the built-in PoE ports to accept my Wi-Fi camera through the LAN. So I'm gonna go to camera management. I can see number six is my next free, so this would be a PoE port, but I can change this to look across the LAN by selecting it, click modify, change it from plug and play to manual, input the IP address, of the body camera and the password and confirm that and leave it as auto click OK that will go and connect to it so if I go out and go and pack you can now see camera 6 is online that's the body camera itself and it's come up with mobile dome mobile dome is what we refer to as that technology there if I click on it there's no web browser, so don't worry if it doesn't work on that. So now I can go to video and audio, choose camera six, and we can see that's the settings that are taken from the body camera directly. I can go to storage, make sure that mobile dome, the body camera is set to record 24 seven, which it is. I wanna stream it via the Wi-Fi directly to my NVR, so as when the body camera is on, it's always streaming through um, to the NVR as well. Like I said, it's like a redundancy option. I can click on advance and I can also enable ANR, automatic network refresh, click enable and then okay and save. What that technology does or that function, should we say does is when the body camera is out on site and not connected to the Wi-Fi, when your security guard or the patrol comes back in, body camera is on, it automatically reconnects to the Wi-Fi and starts downloading our footage back to the NVR. So it backfills it uh, back to the NVR so it's obviously safe on there as well. Now if I go to live view and I can make that single stream there, click on mobile dome or body camera so we can change the name if we needed and there is the body camera so when I lift that up and connect to it it's a bit of a delay because of the Wi-Fi and uh, my PC but there's me looking at you via the NVR through the body camera so we'll put that back there. So we've got live view functionality. And you obviously could monitor that live. So if your security guard is doing a patrol in the security control room, we could monitor him live as he's doing a patrol in case anything should happen. We can stop that and we can go to playback. Select mobile dome. Click play. And that's where we were setting it up earlier. And 
and that's me in the demo room. So we can export the footage there, so we can live view, playback and export. All in one go from the NVR, let's pause that. Hopefully that's a really valuable solution to you and it'll add to your site security, gives another option for you uh, and another very powerful solution that we can provide using our own technology. Hope you found it interesting. If you've got any questions, please come back and ask us here at DVS where we can help you, support you, uh, etc. Join us next week. Well, I'll be in China next week, so I'll give you an update on that when I come back. But this is to trying the video when I'm in China, so I'm doing it early, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Again, thanks for all your support, helping, watching, sharing, commenting. I'll see you as soon as I come back from China. Stay safe out there. Thanks, guys.